what's up youtube it's your girl jay simone welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel subscribe and like and comment on this video and my recent videos and bam if you've been following me do you already know what's going on this is another cook with me video today i am making some honey barbecue jerk chicken with white oh uh, no i'm sorry not white rice i lied yellow rice beans and fried cabbage okay boom um i feel like when you say it out loud they don't sound like they go together but when you look at the plate it actually went together very well okay but just stay tuned for the end to look at the plate um so what i do is i usually cut like three or four slits in my bigger pieces of chicken like the legs and stuff um just because i really wanted to cook all the way through i want to get all the juices and the seasonings really deep into that 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 chicken okay so i do go ahead and make my slits that's what i'm doing here i think i made like five or six pieces of chicken because the chicken was a pretty decent size so that's really all we needed and my man is a big man okay and usually he eats about two three pieces of chicken but today or last night he only ate that one piece because it was so damn big um but he did go back for seconds okay um but yeah so i'm just adding my seasons here the ground paprika pretty much all the seasons that you've seen in the beginning um oh my god y'all y'all gotta try that garlic pepper seasoning i just feel like it's so much easier than getting garlic powder and black pepper sometimes i don't know i just like how that seasoning i like how it work um the one season that i didn't add to the front of the video is the jerk seasoning okay um this is honey barbecue jerk chicken so i didn't have any more wet jerk mix so i had to go ahead with the dry jerk seasoning but it's okay it ended up tasting good tasted all just the same well it didn't taste the same because i know the wet seasoning would have slapped but this slapped too okay it just maybe didn't slap as hard that it could have because i didn't have the wet seasoning but y'all give it what i'm trying to say um so now i'm just going ahead and i'm mixing up my chicken make sure your hands is clean okay my hands are clean i did clean them before i filmed this started filming this video um and then i went ahead and i had to grab some oil because I forgot. I usually put the oil first and then I start seasoning, but I forgot. So it's okay. I just went ahead and add the oil in um, just so I can coat everything. Um, and I'm actually going to set this aside. That's my pot. I got my pot, but then I forgot that I wasn't going to throw it in the oven yet. Uh, I'm going to put it later on a pop in the refrigerator while I prep the rest of dinner. So I did go ahead and cut up some peppers. Um, I did make a little i did cut up a, a couple pieces of onion i'm cutting up kind of small though because i don't really like the i don't really want to taste the onion texture i just want the flavor if you get what i'm saying you know what i'm saying so um i did go ahead and cut up my peppers and my onion um and that was just to go in the cabbage okay so like i said you see i just cut like two thin little slices and i made them into even smaller pieces i made like a bunch of little squares of onions um, because I wanted a little bit, I wanted that onion flavor, like I said, but I really didn't want to taste the onion. Like, I don't really want to taste it, okay? I'm not really that. I don't like the texture. Um, and I went ahead, y'all, it took me forever to cut this damn cabbage, to cut just this little piece that I had to cut for the video. Okay, so this is the aftermath, which is actually, it's not that bad, but the whole cabbage, when I was trying to get these two little pieces off, was giving me hell, okay? Zero out of ten, do not recommend. Um, so I'm, I cut up my cabbage in uh, squares. Okay, I don't. Some I see some people who like they like them like long pieces or the, the strips. I don't like that. I don't know. I don't like that. I feel like it, it it stretches more and it tastes better to me in my head when it's in squares. Okay, so I cut them in squares and I broke them up a little bit because um, I wanted to get get them all some you know spaced out. And I just put them in a bowl um, along with my pepper and my onions. And then I just went ahead and gave it a mix, okay? Like I said, clean hands, you guys. Clean motherfucking hands. Then I popped that in the refrigerator, set that aside. And now I'm about to throw my chicken in the oven. So I did go ahead and add a couple um, tablespoons of butter into my pan. And you can just see me pulling down the skin over the chicken. You know, the, the chicken can't be naked going in the oven. They got to make sure it got its coat on. So I was pulling the coat on the, the, the chicken, okay, so that it, it, it sucks in all the flavors, all right? So that's what I'm doing here. If y'all wondering why I'm plucking all that the chicken is because I'm trying to get the coat on, okay, a.k.a. the skin. Um, But, yeah, like I said, I made like five or six pieces, give or take, something like that. Um, And y'all cannot wait till y'all see the finished product, okay, because when I tell you that shit slapped, 
It slapped so fucking hard. Like, that chicken was immaculate. All right? I had to put, I'm going to lie, I had to get my, my pooch, I had to give him a little bit of the sauce and his food because it was so good. Um, and so the that bowl, if you don't notice, that's the bowl that I had the chicken in. I put a little bit of chicken broth in the bowl because it had some seasoning and some flavors. I wanted to make sure I got as much of the flavoring as possible, okay? So I put a chicken, a little bit of chicken broth in the bowl, switched it around, then poured it in my um, pan. Then I just popped that right on in the oven on 350 for two and a half hours, okay? Um, every, I want to say like every hour I came and made sure I juiced, I put some of the juice that, from the pot onto the chicken. Um, and then here I am just making my yellow rice. Um, I have my rice boiling. I put my uh, one packet of saison, um, some onion powder, garlic and pepper seasoning, um, and some turmeric. I don't put a lot of seasonings in the yellow rice because that, I feel like that's doing too much. Plus the juice from the chicken is going to, you know, it's going to come together really lovely with the damn rice. Okay. Um, and this is my beans. I did add a little, a half a um, pack of the saison into the beans, two tablespoons of butter, some onion powder, some of that saison total seasoning, um, and some adobo, just a little bit. I didn't season them too, too much, but I did want them to have a little flavor. Um, so after that, I did go ahead and I mixed it up a little bit and then I just popped my top on there and let that cook on low for, I don't know, like 35, 40 minutes, something like that. Um, and so I had a couple pieces of ham left from Easter, okay? Easter Sunday, we had ham. So I broke up some of the pieces of ham, and I started searing them off in my um, frying pan, just frying them up a little bit, um, just until really I can smell the ham. Um, and I want to get them a little, like a little, I don't want to say burnt, but a little crisp around the edges, Okay. And I'm going to do that, and that's going to go in my cabbage. I'm actually going to add the ham to my cabbage. I've seen people add sausage and uh, shrimp and stuff to the cabbage. And I had this ham, and I was like, you know what? I don't want to waste it. So let me just add a little booty bop and a little booty bop. Okay, so that's what I did. So I did add uh, quite a few pieces. I don't want to say too much, but I feel like I added a good amount. Um, and I wanted to break them up small because I didn't want to bite into my cabbage and taste no big-ass piece of ham. I'm sorry. I just didn't want to taste that. So after I used the amount of ham that I want, mixed it around a little bit, and once it was um, seared off, I added some butter to the pan, and then I went ahead and added my cabbage, okay? Boom, there's the cabbage. Try to make sure I get everything, you know, I got to get everything. And I, I mixed it around before I added any seasonings or anything like that because I wanted to make sure the ham and the cabbage and the onions and peppers and everything was mixed together really good. So um, I did mix it around a few times. Then I went ahead and with some saison. I used the whole packet, y'all. No, it's not too much. I promise. Um, I used a little bit of paprika. I had to turn my st stove down because it, it was sizzling. Um, I used a little paprika. I used some, um, oh, I added a little bit of chicken broth. And like y'all see that gut that I was talking about? Don't pay attention to it. Just pretend it ain't there. All right? I'm I'm having a bad day. I'm having a bad day. So I added some adobo, some garlic pepper seasoning, some onion powder, saison total seasoning. Um, y'all know I love me some saison total. And that roasted garlic and herb seasoning, y'all. I'm telling you, thank me later. I'm trying to tell you, thank me later. <laughs> Then I mixed that all around real good. Um, I don't remember. I think I ended up going and added like a little bit more chicken broth, but not too much because you really just want enough to kind of cover the bottom of the pan. Um, I feel like once you cover it, it's going to cook down. You get what I'm saying? It's the steam and everything is going to cook. It's going to cook everything good. All right. So you don't really need too much uh, chicken broth, just enough to cover the bottom of the pan. And y'all, this is the lazy way. My stove was full and my back burner was not working. So this is the lazy way that I make the sauce. Usually I'll make the sauce on the stove, but I'm popping that thing in the microwave. Okay. So I added some butter, um, some honey barbecue in a bowl, microwave safe bowl. Um, and then I added some more honey. I had to turn my, my stove down. I added some more honey, um, and then I believe I added the jerk seasoning, and that is what my sauce consisted of. Yes, I did add the jerk seasoning. I added quite a bit of it. Um, I'm telling you, that shit slapped so hard. Then I mixed it around a little bit before I put it in the microwave. Then I popped it in the microwave, I, I want to say for like 40, 45 seconds, and then after my chicken was cooked a little bit, um, maybe for like an hour, 
I went ahead and I added the sauce, saving a little bit of it for the end. Y'all will see why, okay? Because at the end, once the chicken is actually done, um, I'm going to add the rest of the sauce to the top so it can look like that, okay? Now, tell me that don't look good. If y'all say it don't look good, then I feel like you're hating because that shit was slapping. 